I like the moving sidewalks because I move like 10 times faster and it makes me feel like a superhero or something, like Flash. Hello, my wonderful, beautiful people of YouTube. How are you today? So we are going to be talking about shyness. Shyness takes away from your life, big time. Okay, so what are some of the bad things about being shy? Some of the bad things about being shy is that you won't get things done because you're too shy to do them. You know, shyness kind of immobilizes you. Something that you wanted to do causes you anxiety because you're shy, so you won't do it, meaning you'll miss an opportunity. That is one of the biggest things that I've been encountering. This is coming from a shy guy, you know, that you miss opportunities because you're shy, because you don't want to go up there and, and do things. Okay, so what's one thing that you can do to counteract that? Well, for me, I have a group of friends that motivate me to do things. You know, if I'm struggling with, say, talking to a hero that I finally met, you know, like Aaron Marino or Antonio Santano, I need a wingman. I need someone to help me kind of push me and be like, go talk to them, you know, let's do a video, you know, someone to support me because at that point in time, I might be freaking out and my shyness and everything else kind of overtakes me. And so you need that wingman, that support group, those friends who are there to push you along. You want to train yourself where you don't need people all the time to push you to do things that you want to do. Also, by being shy, you tend to blend in with the crowd, go with the flow, not really stand out. And if you're the type of person who has great ideas, eccentric ideas, who has these amazing goals and dreams in life, but because of your shyness, you don't pursue them. You're like, oh, people are going to talk about me, which is a good and a bad thing. One of those things where you kind of really have to force yourself to get out of your comfort zone, build that thick skin, and go out and be you. You're never going to be able to accomplish anything in life if you don't be you. Get out of the shyness hole that you're in and it hurts. Sometimes it does hurt, you know, physically. You feel sick to your stomach because you're like, I'm being really shy right now and I know I shouldn't. What's going on? Well, I mean, you're not you're not alone. There's a lot of us out there who are struggling with being shy and we just need to get out of our comfort zone and really put ourselves out there. With not being afraid to be ourselves, we have to love ourselves. Like, no, seriously, love who you are. Love the color of your skin. Love your, your eyes, your the way you smile. And there's some things that you can do if you don't like your hair color diet If you don't like the way your clothes fit on your body either, you know work out You know get fit or buy clothes that go good with your body right now Stay positive stay with positive people cut all the negative people out of your life completely There's so many people out there that want to be friends with you who are trying to support you And I think that for a shy person you need no negativity in your life at all Constructive criticism is awesome. You need that but no negative no negativity from people who are are jealous from people who just don't like you people who just want to see you not succeed I want to see everyone succeed who is around me and I'm a strong believer in pushing my friends to reach their goals to be themselves and really love themselves I was gonna say like themselves but more than like themselves love themselves and it's still a work in progress for me one of the things is that you have to take the first step you want to stop being shy do something about it so while I was at StyleCon I was terrified to go up to people and talk to them um, if you probably already know from my previous videos but I really uh, I was I really wanted to talk to Aaron Marino and I wanted to talk to you, Antonio Santano, and plenty more people that I'm kind of forgetting right now. But uh, one of the really cool things for a shy person is your biggest heroes or people in general to come up to you and say hi and start a conversation with. You. And this is what these gentlemen did. They came up to me. They said hi. Hey, how are you? Hey, Cruz. I'm like, oh my gosh. I look over to my friend. I'm like, he knows my name. <laughs> that is awesome. They started a conversation. They're like, hey, how are you liking everything? And so what I started doing is, I'm like, okay, well, if I'm feeling a certain way, I'm just gonna tell whoever is trying to talk to me. I'm like, hey, this is what's going on with me. Uh, that way it sparks up a conversation. That's a start. I was telling Antonio when I got there, I'm like, you know what? It's really hard for me to go up to people and talk to them. What do I do? And he started giving me advice. I'm like, yes. Okay, getting advice from like the best person in the room is awesome. One of the best people in the room. Awesome. You know, he was like, hey, just choose a person, go up to them, ask them three questions, and there you go. Go from that. I'm like, okay, awesome. And when speaking to Aaron, I told him, I'm like, you know what? This is very intimidating. Coming into a room full of guys, strangers, you don't know most of them, if not all. And I don't know what to do. He's like, hey, you know what? The biggest advice that I can give you, stop being shy. And it's like, yeah, okay, I know that, but we need as shy people, people who have insecurities, people who struggle with things, you need reality checks. You need someone to tell you, hey, this is what you're going through, stop it. He's like, stop being shy, that's the thing. You get to thinking, it's like, okay, well, how do I stop being shy? And that's when you spark up conversation with people and, they're, and you're like, hey, so I'm having this shy issue, what do I do? And then solutions come to you. You know, if you put it out there, most likely um, it's gonna open up doors and people are gonna wanna help you. And that's really cool because I'm the type of person that is always in need of help. I'm not afraid to ask for help because I know I don't know all the answers. I'm a growing human being and I'm just trying to eventually be really old and really wise. How I'm gonna achieve that is to get out of my comfort zone, stop being shy, and learn as much as possible from people who have experienced things in life. 
So a big shout out to everyone at Thalgon who helped me get out of my comfort zone and, and, and talk to my fellow hero heroes and idols at Thalgon like Aaron and Antonio. And Antonio or Aaron would walk by. I would like try to approach Aaron or, or Antonio and then I would look back at my friends and I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I go up to my friend Carlos and I'm like, hey, so I want to talk to Antonio next. I'm still feeling kind of shy. Me being shy and it's like I get all nervous and whatnot. You know, he goes up to him and he, and he introduces me. I'm like, hey, Antonio, uh, can we do a video? He's like, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. And Antonio has these cobra eyes that are super intimidating. I'm like, okay, I better know my shit. I better ask him great questions and make it fast. And no, he was, he was an amazing person. He, he feels like the strong, silent type. This guy can carry on a conversation and he sounds so smart when he's speaking to you. And when you're speaking to him, it seems like he appreciates what you're saying. He appreciates the conversation that you're having with them. And feeling appreciated nowadays when talking to anyone is awesome because a lot of the times you're talking to someone, especially if they're your heroes or people that you put on pedestals, you feel like they're not listening. They're there, but they're not listening. I think one of the biggest things that make humans feel great about themselves is other people listening to them. And so this was awesome meeting Antonio and Aaron. These people genuinely seem like they appreciate each and every single person they meet. That's one trait that I would want to take from Stylicon. Appreciate everyone that I come in contact with. Anyone that I speak to really appreciate and listen to what they have to say genuinely. Anyways, enjoy these clips. All right, how's it going, everyone? This is the Blow Cruise here with. Hi, hello, Nico Peace. Follow me on YouTube. What's your YouTube channel? Nico Peace. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, I thought that was your name. name. Okay, so real name right there is Nick, but my YouTube handle is Nico yeah. Peace. So, watch out for that. It's an absolute contest. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm Carlos. All right, so uh, right now I wanted to talk to Aaron Marino, and I'm scared shitless. I was, and uh, we're actually talking about this, how we want to uh, talk to these like amazing people who have been yeah. doing YouTube for the longest time, but what's holding us back? It's just back that because of their like status of who they are and how much feedback they get from so many people, it becomes a little bit more intimidating for us common folks to just try to like, or just try to be mentored by them or just be inspired by them as much as we are. And it's just, sometimes it becomes so difficult for us to just be able to like converse with any of them because it's like, we're not worthy. It's like, I haven't done what you've done. I don't know if we're on the same level. Right. Should I even, what should I ask? Maybe right. I don't want to ask them, you know, random dumb questions. No dumb question, but like the wrong question at the same time because you only have like two seconds. Exactly. It's like, ah, uh, what do I say? Right. Yeah. So, man. Sometimes you just end up being so hesitant, and then you miss an opportunity, and you're like, God, I missed the opportunity. It's like, how many, how many times are we coming to South Exactly. So maybe once a year. Yeah. So because of the fact that it's like so limited, so limited amount of time, to where like your fears and your like insecurities and all that just have to be like pushed out of the window because this is the whole entire style time event is about just getting out of your comfort zone. It's because of that because gives you the opportunity to actually think like talk to people who are successful and who know what they're doing and who are more than happy to help you out and to better it yourself. It's just having all those people come together is just such a great experience. I can see the energy just kind of oozing out of you. This is what this is what Stalker does to you. You know? And as far as like conquering this fear of talking to someone who is your uh, role model, your someone that you look up to. Um, this guy over here, he's great at just going up to someone and and talking to them. So what is it that you do, Carlos, to uh, approach someone and talk to them? So you just walk up to them and uh, just say something, ask them a question, say something about their shoes or whatever, and let us walk up and by itself. So I've noticed that with him, he goes up to someone and he's like, hey, I like your shoes, by the way. And then he goes off into a conversation. I'm like, that is killer. That is killer. Okay, so um, thank you for meeting me here in the kitchen of Stylecon. Exactly. This is the glamorous. This is this is the underbelly of Stylecon, the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. Um, so uh, I was so shy to actually come up to you and ask you to uh, be in one of my videos. You put a camera in my face? Are you kidding me? I'll talk for hours. You got to keep those things away from me. <laughs> so I was so intimidated to uh, come to Stylecon, and I finally did because I had a wingman, and I love this, and I've been following you forever. I know. You know my kid's name is Aaron. It's not after me. Not after you. <laughs> but you did respond to um, when I announced my kid's name on Facebook, and you're like, great name. 
Yeah. And I told my wife, I'm like, that's the day he chose. And I'm now, like, it, it, it's so incredible meeting you because I, I've seen you and, and sort of seen your evolution on video and you like your style. I mean, what I really admire and appreciate about you is the fact that you're not afraid to take risks and you're constantly reinventing yourself, your style, and for me, somebody who is definitely, you know, in a comfort zone, I've been in comfort zones, to see somebody that puts themselves out there like that it is absolutely just refreshing and incredible. So, congratulations to you, Shit, sure, man. What's one advice that you would give me? You? Yeah. Don't be shy. There's no need. But I know that's easier said than done. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah, no. Definitely. That is major. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, Eric. Absolutely. I'm so see glad you guys. to be here. Later. Bye. All right, how's it going, everybody? So this is the uh, the bloke cruise here with Antonio Centeno of Real Men, Real Style. Uh, thank you so much for uh, agreeing to do this video. So uh, one of the things that I, I really like about Saigon is that I, I feel like all my best friends are here, and they all and there's like hundreds of them, and they like what I like. Well, you watched a few of my videos, right? Yes. And a few of Aaron Marie's videos. Yes. Yeah. And you know what's cool is it a video you can't really hide who you are. If you can, maybe, but not if you've done hundreds and hundreds of years. You've vlogged, you've put out, you know, just content. And uh, I think you came and you realize we're real people. We want to help each other. Yes. And, uh, yeah, having a good time. It's a pretty good party, right? No, no, it is. One of the big things that I, I noticed when I first came in was I was completely intimidated by the huge crowd that was here and I didn't know how to how to go about I felt like it was like speed dating yeah when it's like okay you have three minutes go ahead and talk to as many people as, as you can and try to make an imp impression it's like what advice would you give someone who comes to Stalcon? okay so first off don't worry about like what other people think just I mean just come in and, and start talking start meeting people don't be intimidated I actually spent a lot of time at the front door because I know what it's like to walk into a place and not go anywhere. I mean, can I see you? Yes, yes, yeah. you did. And, yeah. and it's important. He said right? hi, so I'm yeah. like, yes, he said hi. He knows yeah. me. I just want to thank people for coming here. So hopefully, you, you, and it doesn't happen all the time, but don't be afraid just to walk in and start. I mean, people are friendly. I set the tone. This is my event. And I tell, I tell Aaron, I tell everyone, if you're not going to be part of my event, I am available. So I try to go around and talk with you and engage with you. We meet you at the door if we can. If we can, we make time for you, right? Yes, yeah. and you sure did. And I am so welcome for it because it's like, I feel so comfortable and easy. I appreciate you doing this and I have clarity on what I want to do with uh, my life. And that's deep. That is very deep. So thank you. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out. No, thank you, man. All right, thanks so much. Bye, later. Bye. Uh, casually formal, and my name is actually Michele, but it's great to be at StyleCon. This is like an amazing place to be. I got to meet this awesome guy. He and blows awesome guy. Crew. So how are you dealing with uh, talking to all these different people and connecting with them? Man, um, okay, so I saw Aaron Marino yes. at the coffee station, and I'm like, I didn't expect, I was like, hey, I remember the prayer, I'm gonna go up and know what I'm gonna say to him, and it just kind of happened. And then it was just like Aaron, like I don't, you know, like and it took me by surprise. Yeah. And you can, my point is, you can prepare and prepare for something, but then when something actually happens, if you're not like ready and authentically comfortable to deal with it on on the spot, like you're gonna look like a complete idiot. Now, I thankfully I didn't, but I I, I just I almost broke down in tears because I just I didn't know what to say. Like I, it was I, I'm I'm actually really happy to happen that way. I'm actually feeling the same way. Yeah. I was telling him because I spoke to him as well, and I'm like, bro, I. Just, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Yeah. I really like this place. I really yeah. like this place, and I'm nervous. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't nervous. I literally. I had a moment where after I met Aaron, I there was a presentation. Dan Lock, very powerful speaker, great guy. But uh, and I, I, I was having trouble listening to him because I just needed to take a moment for myself because I, I I can't. I've come from such a long way, guys. Like I'm still going, like everybody. But I just it took. I took a moment. I on like kind of sat forward and I kind of put my hands to my eyes and I, I was tearing up. I, w I was for a little bit, and um, it, it was something where I just had like a surreal moment because I never dreamed this would be a reality so soon, right. you know. And when you when you meet somebody like that you've been who's been a role model for you for the longest time, and then you notice how much you've changed when compared to when you were when you first started learning things, it's uh, it's, it's really something. You are actually really really cool. Um, I'm really glad that I met you. Yeah.
and I will see you guys later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and all that great stuff. I will see you guys later. Love you. Bye.